Another team that went undefeated in league play and almost undefeated for the season were the Helix Highlanders. They faced off against the Torrey Pines Falcons in the Division II quarterfinals, and John Lovelady is here with all the action. Mr. Lovelady? Thanks, Jose. I spoke to Falcons head coach Scott Ashby before the game, and he said he had three keys for his team to beat the, the best team in San Diego County. Ball control, limit the turnovers, and stay away from big plays. The Helanders won nine out of their ten games by 13 points or more so far this season. Would David slay Goliath, or will it be business as usual for the top-ranked Helix Highlanders? Let's check it out. After their opening game loss to Eastlake, the number one ranked Helix Highlanders have been destroying any team put before them. On the other hand, Torrey Pines, led by Andrew Perkins and Andrew Fargo, just want to prove they can compete. Helix's first possession, quarterback Brandon Lewis out of the shotgun formation, sees Cameron Lee, hits him on a nice screen pass, and he races 56 yards down the sideline for an opening drive touchdown. 7 0 Helix. Next possession, Michael Atkins takes the handoff and is a man among boys. No one can stop him, dragging tackler after tackler for a tough 31 yard gain. Same possession, Lewis hands off to Darian Hancock and he does the rest with a strong run to the goal line where he would punch it in on the next play. 13 0 Helix. Still in the first. Lewis out of the shotgun formation finds tight end Gary Thompson over the middle and he is smoking, outrunning five Torrey Pines defenders putting Helix up 20-0, still in the first. Michael Atkins takes the handoff, breaks to the sideline and is gone on a 64-yard run, finally dragged out at the 15-yard line by the Torrey Pines defender. Van Saban lines up for a 27-yard field goal and it's good, making it 23-0 Helix. Will there be a miraculous Torrey Pines comeback? Jimmy Pruitt jumps the route and says no way, intercepts the ball, and any hopes Torrey Pines has, it was all Helix in this one. They are worthy of the number seven state ranking and look forward to tougher competition that they will certainly face at Qualcomm Stadium. The Highlanders continued to impress and were sharp in all phases. The defense was impressive, not allowing any points until the fourth quarter when the starters were out of the game. In the first quarter alone, they outgained the Falcons 238 yards to zero. I spoke, with, I spoke with quarterback Brandon Lewis and tight end Gary Thompson, and they said their team is focused on taking it one game at a time, and there is still a lot of work to do. It now becomes a two-game season for them. They will host Mission Hills on Thursday. Jose, back to you at the desk. Thank you, John. Helix continues their memorable season. But you know what Helix is really excited about? More exciting than the season they've already had? Uh, I don't know. Well, the fact that they don't have to play Oceanside until Qualcomm, should they both make it there? That's right. They've lost three in a row to the Pirates in the playoffs, and last year happened in the semifinal round. Yeah, well, they both have to match up. They have tough matches with Mission Hills and the Costa Canyon before thinking about Qualcomm, but I'm sure it's in the back of their minds.